this occasion, Phoebe had traveled to Rome, possibly on a business trip, so she was a wealthy person. Paul, knowing that she would pass through Corinth, took the opportunity to write to the Roman Christians. This letter commended Phoebe, its bearer, to the church in Rome. So Paul introduced Phoebe to the church in Rome because she was on her way to, she was traveling to, for business or traveling for business. Hallelujah. So she was the bearer of the letter that Paul wrote about herself. And so this letter commended Phoebe its bearer to the church in Rome. Paul knew that the Roman Christians will be able to provide Phoebe with hospitality and fellowship as well as with advice on the state of Roman politics and law. So Paul introduced Phoebe to the Roman church so that she would not be stranded in Rome. Paul spoke highly of Phoebe. He introduced her to the Roman Christians as sister, as sister, servant, saint, and helper. Let's listen to that. As sister, servant, saint, and helper. Can this be said about us? Okay. And so, um, he continued to say that Phoebe was helpful to his ministry. And though the word here translated servant is also transliterated as deacon. So when we come down to um, their local way of addressing deacons, they say servants. So it is the same as deacons. So as a deacon, as a leader of the church, it means that you are also called to serve. Hallelujah. And so we see that it's also translated into deacon, which they, they used. They used servants, but it was the same as deacon. Of course, taking in that sense, the word describes not only Phoebe and other deaconesses in the early church, but also countless women who have given and do give themselves entirely to the work of the kingdom through ministries within the local church so there were many other women who were also servants they were service they were so humble that they gave to support the work of god at the same time they were ready also to save isn't it wonderful it is so wonderful because jesus came to pave the way for women women were not allowed to do anything in the church Women were not allowed to be in ministry. But here we see that Jesus came, that many women also had, many women had a turnaround life, or many women had turnaround lives. So Jesus changed them, he delivered them, he cleansed them, and he became a friend to all these women so they saw that they also had they, they had something they had something in their hands in promoting the kingdom's business and so however the word is also used by some in a technical sense to describe a functional ecclesiastical ecclesiastical office such as assigned to Stephen in Acts chapter 6 verses 1 to 7. So the, the, the ministry or the office assigned to Stephen was the same as what these women 
we're doing to support the kingdom of God. This office was created to equip a corps of godly saints to meet physically and physical and social needs so that the apostles will be pulled away from the primary ministry of the word. So we see here that although that they, it is like when you come to our churches today, it is like the welfare, the welfare in the church. We have a group who take care of the welfare of the church um, in the sense that they take care of um, those who do not have, those who, the needy in the church, that is by providing food, clothing, and at times money in the church. And that was what was apportioned to Stephen. And these women were also doing the same thing in the church. They were serving. Meanwhile, they were also given out of what they have to support and promote the ministry. So when we read Acts chapter 6, 1 to 7, we will see that office there. And also uh, Acts chapter 6 verse 4 also talks about when they get involved in the ministry, it will allow uh, Peter, Paul, and all the rest also to have time for the gospel. That is why in the churches we have our ministers whose work is for the um, presentation of the, of the word, teachings, preachings, and also advising leaders on what to do and uh, have a meeting with leaders to give them work so that they can also look after the flock. The pastor is the head of the leaders in the church. And so that is how God has apportioned everyone with an office. So when we, and anytime we want to talk about any man of God and the work the person is doing, we have to know what the Bible says before we condemn. Certainly in the New Testament, Science of deacon or deaconess, women can find ample opportunity for service with or without an official title. On the other hand, if deacon or deaconess is considered a portion of official spiritual leadership, there are other passages for capable Greek women of significant social status and apparently through the gospel, she had also overcome the pagan origins of her name to gain status. In Paul's eyes, as a pure and radiant light for Jesus. So that is how Paul saw Phoebe. Phoebe was pure. He, she was a radiant light. It is like Paul saw in Phoebe the lifestyle of Christ. So how do people call us how do people call us people see us and we are episodes that the world read it not only the world but in christendom how do people see you we know that the bible says that if the same spirit that raised jesus christ from the dead lives in you and me the spirit will will, will quicken us the Spirit will vitalize our mortal, mortal bodies so that we'll be quickened in the Spirit. So as we come to the Lord, we grow gradually. So if we, you meet me today, in five years' time, in two years' time, in a year's time, when you meet me again, you have to see some difference. You have to see that I'm growing. We are not I, we are not judging, but we need to judge ourselves first. We need to 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 look through our lives first to see whether we are growing. If someone is talking about me, what will the person say? Will the person speak negatively because I'm in a lifestyle that does not please God? Or the person will say that this woman of God this man of God, this child of God is walking according to what the Bible says or is do, living her, lives, her life according to what he or she preaches. May the Lord help us so that we will remain faithful unto him. Let people see Christ in you rather than driving people 
from the kingdom of God. Can somebody introduce us to someone to, to host us because the person knows the in and out of how we are? We need to assess ourselves. We need to examine ourselves. We need to examine ourselves first and leave other people's lives for them. Let's pray for other people and ask God also to change us and let us be radiant as Phoebe was. God bless you. Service or sacrifice. Are you ready for either? They served and they sacrificed. They gave what they have. So let us also learn from them. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Their lives and their faith. Because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God bless you. Have a fruitful weekend. Bye-bye.